Welcome to this short introduction to FM Spark. We're going to open the application and double click on the sample contacts file that comes with FM Spark. Perform a quick search here to just build a found set of contacts that we want to send some letters to. We'll click on create email and we'll browse the templates that come with FM Spark, selecting a simple plain text email to send to our found set of contacts. Once we pick the template, we can alter it. In this case, we're going to grab a merge field from our data. Just drop in their first name, type in some more text. This isn't altering the template, just this instance of it that we're sending out. And we're going to quickly preview this to make sure this looks the way we want. Just kind of flow through the found set. That all looks good. Now we'll merge this template with our data and get ready to create a batch that we'll send out to our customers. Once this is finished, we'll be able to review how this looks for each individual customer, checking their data, and we can even take a moment to personalize the content for a particular customer or for several customers. Again, we're not changing the template here, we're just personalizing this one particular mail to Shirley. At this point, the system's in test mode. I can pop in my address and send a test of Shirley's mail to myself so I can see what it looks like. I may do this several times to make sure I get it right get my formatting correct. And once that's done, I can switch the system back to live mode and send out all my emails. At this point, I'll select Open Recent from the FM Spark menu and take a look at the mailings I've been working on recently, some of which may be marked completed, some of which I may have to revisit. You'll use the settings to personalize FM Spark for you, and this means you should be able to edit the templates that come with FM Spark and make your own templates without having to go into layout mode. So can your customers. FM Spark is very well documented including context sensitive help from each screen and a nice step-by-step -step walkthrough that shows you how to link FM Spark to your own file. Thanks for listening.